Greetings and welcome back to Project Zomboid Apocalypse. So, we need to pass some of the time. So I'm going to do a little bit of an early fitness routine. It might be a mistake because that means around one or so we'll start getting exercise fatigue. But I really didn't have any yesterday. I think because I took it kind of easy and just did a few exercises. And this character starts with fairly decent fitness. But we shall see. All right, um, go straight into push-ups. No, sit-ups. That's right. We'll do the fitness stuff first. Now, I will get a little bit tired here. So let's rest for about 20 minutes or so. And then do push-ups and burpees. I'm getting a little bit more exhausted doing push-ups than any of the others. That's because you get more in, I think. Yep, I didn't even get exhausted doing 10 minutes of burpees. But let's go ahead and top off our rest bar, get all of our endurance back, and then see... I guess we'll go take some sleeping pills and try and sleep a little. Take pills. I guess I'll start keeping these on me in my uh, handbag or purse. Wait till my panic fades and we should be able to sleep. Now it should be bright enough to go outside and uh, make for another set of structures and see if we can find anything to loot. Now I'd really like to find a sledgehammer but I think we're going to have to head to um, warehouses to find that. <clears throat> Might get lucky and find it on a farm but it's very unlikely. But I'm going to be checking the farms first because if I can find seeds then that means I don't have to worry about food. Um, I need, I thought I saw something out of the corner of my eye, I need an axe, a decent axe rather than the stone ones that I'm going to be going through a little too frequently. Um, I need more nails and I need more food. Now getting um, farming supplies will help with the food a little bit. So would trapping supplies. More books would also be nice, because then they would have something to do during downtime. It'd be nice if I could find a vehicle, but I don't really have a source of fuel way out here. Um, I am eventually going to need a generator and a source of fuel. So, uh, if I can get a car somewhere, then I could, I could range out a little farther looking for a fuel station. Uh, I can't quite remember where the nearest fuel station is from West Point, though. There's probably a gas station in West Point, but that's going to be very dangerous at this point. Um, it's going to take a lot of work to clear away to it. Now on the default game, stuff will respawn after 16 hours. And when I get a vehicle, that extends the range of areas I can patrol for 16 hours to cut, uh, cut down on areas that can spawn. Um, I think stuff spawns every three days. Yeah, it's, I think it's 72 hours uh, between spawns in the default game. And as long as a place has been seen within the last 16, stuff will not spawn in it. Which means I don't want to spend too long away from my uh, 
base here or stuff will spawn in it. But yeah, as you can see, without a car, it's going to take me a while to get anywhere from my base because my base is pretty far away. It's going to be uh, at least three hour walk to the nearest place. And I could jog a little, but since I don't know um, where zombies might be yet, I don't want to risk being... Oh, there's an empty bottle. Something happened over here. There's a zombie. Looks like a picnic or a campsite. got a leather jacket. It's not anywhere near going to be cold enough yet. We're just beginning summer. A shovel. Oh, this is a grave site. This person was burying people. Interesting. Or digging up graves, one of the two. Empty bottle is useful. I can use them to make molotovs. I can fill them with water for extra water bottles. Alright, let's stop sneaking again. Now, if we go far enough down these road, this road, we'll get to the, uh, southwestern farms and that's where I want to start my search that also might be another decent place to set up base um, I don't know if this set of farms has a well I don't think they do but the house I'm at is right near a lake which is an infinite source of water and a place I can fish let's see I think I keep going south. about 50 minutes if I would be getting exercise fatigue it will show up Which reminds me I didn't check my experience it's almost non-existent yeah cuz you need 30,000 and I've only gotten like 250 fitness and less than a thousand strength so it'll be a long time before I get a point in either of those. Assuming I live long enough. Unless I do more intense workouts. But I was just doing the workouts we had to help pass the time and get me tired enough to sleep. Um, more intense workouts would be when my base is a little more self-sustainable. When I have it secured a steady supply of food and a means to cook which right now I could make a campfire and cook with a campfire because I can always cut down trees for fuel for a campfire all right there's got to be a house attached to this farm field Let's check down this way. Alright, 
I'll risk a little bit of jogging because this feels so big and empty right now. Alright, which way do I need to go? Not that familiar with the outskirts of West Point. Because normally, if I go to those houses I'm at, I've already hit West Point enough to have the supplies where I don't need to go anyplace else. There's a structure. Uh, looks like a, that's pretty, either, that's a house, that's a really weird looking house. I think that's a warehouse. Alright, those doors are sealed. But we have windows. But let's check the barn first. bucket. That's useful. Potato seeds. Another bucket. Advanced farming I think I already had. Paintbrush, carrot seeds, an axe, and a leaf rake. All right, let's uh, equip the handbag secondary. No, 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 it's not secondary. Stop that. Uh, let's just grab the axe. Leaf rake, uh, I can leave for now. I've got this lead pipe for a weapon. And let's see if we can't get into this structure over here. Ah, exercise fatigue just kicked in. Big empty area. No containers though, just a couple conveyor belts. Now it looked like there was an upstairs to this place. But I don't know how to get up to it. Because there were no stairs. But yeah, there's windows on another floor. Interesting. Alright, stop sneaking. There's nothing around here. But we did get an axe. Now we just need a couple boxes of nails. There's a house. Maybe there'll be some nails in it. Uh, more food would be nice for a variety. Um, and some farming equipment, like... Uh, Gardening spray cans, watering cans. A trowel. Yes. Alright, 
let's thin out these zombies that are coming this way. None were coming from this way, which is a good sign. They're all my keep going that way. I might be able to get a lot of them to pass me by. for them. I might end up getting all four of them. Oh, I get two. Two I can handle at a time. other two. Group of six down there. Okay, they've broken into a group of three. I might be able to handle three. Though I currently have exercise fatigue. Definitely handle two. Come here, you two. Oh, got your attention. Come on. Exercise fatigue all over the place. It should fade in a few hours, though I need to start heading back soon. Because it's going to take me at least two hours to get back. I'd like to be able to check that building more.
this building will work. What do we got? Planks? Cigarettes? Cigarettes and wire. More cigarettes. Where are the nails? See if any of these guys have anything useful. Mainly I'm looking for matches, lighters, um, weapons. All right, let's see. There was a car in front of that. They broke some windows, so there's definitely some zombies in that place. Pencil, not worth grabbing at this point. Now let's see if I can get back into this house and finish looking. I need food. We have broken glass. Radish seed packets. I knew there was at least one in the house. Oh, he has a house key. Um, that's one thing. Zombies have a chance to drop house keys if you kill them in a house, even if they weren't originally there. Get that bit of bikini. I might need that when it gets really hot. There's at least one more zombie in here, I'm pretty sure. Beta blockers would have been nice. Stay away from the... Oh, I'm getting foraging skill from the TV program. Fridge is empty. I need an extra bowl. I actually need two extra bowls after this one. I don't have pepper, I have salt. Uh, let's eat all of those chips. Grab the soda. the entirety of this house, except for this one door that's shut. Nothing. Alright, let's get out of this house and start headed back. Now we can come back for some of this other stuff later, because now I'm really encumbered. Got to check the car. Because if this car is drivable, I can actually get back faster.
key is in the ignition. It has very little fuel. Engine's in bad shape. Let me see the condition of the engine real quick. Seventy two. It's not as bad as it looks. Gas is empty. There's a lot that needs to be repaired on it. But if I bring my gas tank and I can put a little fuel in there to be able to uh, drive this car back. Even though it'll leak out, so I'll have to keep emptying it. Oh, there's an empty gas can. Uh, let's put some of this stuff up that we won't need anytime soon so we're not so encumbered. Um, the orange soda, the bikini, the empty bowl, because I actually need two more. Let's put the shovel up. Does that get us under encumbered? Yes. Okay. And we will come back for this stuff. Um, let me stop sneaking and see if I can get out of here a little faster. Well, there was one on the other side of these trees. That might be him down there. Let's be a little bit cautious before we get clear of this area. Yeah, I didn't have much fuel. Oh, I got a couple there. I'm going to have to deal with them. those guys I think oh, there's one in the field to my left whoa there's more than one able to get past them all. Let's do a little bit of jogging to get some distance between us and those stray zombies. starting to get hot let's stop jogging let's stop sneaking I'm pretty sure we're clear of the zombies yeah, we need a better backpack well, we actually need a backpack, because right now all we got is like a purse that we equip secondary, not something we wear on our back. Alright, do a little bit more jogging, get back quicker, because the sun is going to be setting real soon. If 
I know we're going to get hot. We're also going to get exhausted. But we've got a long way to go to get back home. Now, I should have left about an hour earlier. Now we're getting sweaty. Let's stop jogging. What's wet? My shirt is soaked, almost soaked. Yeah. Let's unequip it so it dries a little faster. We are still wearing the bulletproof vest, so. A little bit of moisture on the vest, but not the pants. This is our turn. I might be mistaken, but I think this was our turn. I think I was mistaken because I don't remember that. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. That's right near the lake. So yeah, this is our way home. As you can see, we can jog for quite a while when you're not out of shape or unfit. Or overweight. Because I haven't exhausted myself until just now with all of that little bit of jogging I did. <clears throat> now we still don't have nails. So I won't be able to stick around and fortify, but I should be able to get an earlier start tomorrow heading down to the farms. Um, got a little bit of stuff to put up. Uh, a couple magazines. A book. We, we aren't able to carry much at a time right now. Go ahead and stick all of our clothes in the wash. did not 
fill the empty bottle. There we go. Alright, now we've got some more water saved up. A bucket, a couple extra bottles, put the glass ones up because they're heavier than the plastic. All this stuff to the dryer. Let's actually, oh well, let's clean up ourselves and whatever else we have. Wash yourself, just the lead pipe just got dirty. Okay. Put up the rest of this stuff, which is basically just magazines and books. And try and get some sleep. Too panicked. Alright, let's get dressed. Let's grab some regular socks. regular denim shorts, another pair of sneakers, and just a striped t-shirt. I need to get a tank top. All right. Alrighty, um, not going to bother with an exercise routine today since we have a little trip we need to take. Uh, do I want to get the fuel? Where did I put it? Yeah, let's take the fuel with us. may not be able to get that car very far, but we should be able to get it back here. Alright. Let's start out with a little bit of a jog to get to the end of our road. Just jog till we start getting warm and then walk. Starting out at 9, a little bit earlier, we can spend some more time searching some houses down there, especially since uh, we do have the opportunity to come back using the car. It'll only have about 8 gallons in it, uh, but that should get us back here with a fully loaded vehicle. The one problem is it will make noise and maybe draw them this direction. but I could definitely carry a lot of stuff. Now, I've been jogging for at least half an hour. Haven't started to get warm yet because I'm not wearing a jacket. Instead of that police uniform, I'm just wearing a t-shirt and shorts. Starting to get hungry. Let's check this road. And let's stop jogging, because we've been jogging for almost a full hour. Yeah, it took an hour of jogging to get this far. Close to an hour of jogging. I can 
close that so I can see better. forgot to see. Yeah, I got two full levels of foraging off of watching that TV program. Which is one of the reasons I think they're kind of cheesy. Um, you know, just getting a couple of levels of free skill just watching a TV program, but when you read a book you don't get skill. You get an XP bonus. So, I know they put the TV programs in. They're all limited. Uh, they only last for about a week. I know they put them in to help people get a, a, a little bit of a start, but still, um, I think they should have done XP bonuses instead of actual XP. What is this? I haven't seen this wreck, have I? Oh, there's a cockroach. Um, let's eat the mint candy. Let's switch to the driver's seat. No key in it. Trunk is not locked. Got a screwdriver. Um. That one's locked. empty soda bottle. You know, in a station wagon like this, you should be able to climb into the trunk and uh, climb over the seats. Alright, let's break a window. switch over to the driver's seat. Nope, no key. I can add gasoline but can't siphon, so neither of them must have gas. And I'm hungry again. The mint candy really didn't help my sadness too much. I, the candy normally helps your unhappiness, but I've been a little sad for a while now, so. Probably should have left the hammer at home as well. It's not encumbering me much being attached to the belt, but. Oh Lord three, at least. from me. Now that I have a screwdriver, dismantle. He's just walking in circles. Hello. Vitamins, grab those. Vitamins are basically stay awakes in this game. They reduce tiredness. I 
knew there's one in that trees. I'm at a field now. Oh boy. Yeah, now we're starting to run into the zombies. I could just sneak around these guys. Then I'm in between two groups, which is never a good idea, so I need to thin out one of them. See if I can get this guy's attention. Some of you come this way. Thank you. Two I can handle. Make sure nothing comes out of the trees behind me. Have you left four? I think it's four. Might just be three. I wish you could disassemble the regular wristwatches. Which reminds me, I do need to check these. No alarm. That one's got an alarm. It's already gone off. But yeah, let's uh, disable that. There's a couple down there. There's one over there more than one. Let's go up here and see what happened to this group if it's it's still there. Alright, let's take care of them. Now, if I was closer to the fence, I could one-shot them as they crossed over, but there's also the risk that they can do a, a what they call a window or fence lunge, where they uh, go after my feet and knock me down. They are adding in, in the next update, the ability to always swing down by hitting a particular key. Um, where you could uh, make sure that even if one of them is getting up near you and you would be targeting it, you can deal with the one you're standing on. Because it takes them a little bit of time to stand up and be a threat. So you saw when I accidentally swung at him, I actually could have had the time to finish off the one I was standing on. Nothing in this bar. Get these two. All right, 
this is a chicken coop there's not really going to be anything in it I need to find the attached house which is going to be this way oh there's zombies at the chicken coop let me deal with them oh they're going over the fence all right there's the attached house let's deal with the ones over in this fence there's a bunch of them see if I can just draw a couple at a time See if I can get that guy's attention. Yep, here he comes. And a friend. Too slow in my shoves. I let him get a little too close. It's a scratch and a laceration. I may still survive. So we need to deal with that. Um, we're going to disinfect that with some alcohol wipes. Got to get out of combat mode. Disinfect those with some alcohol cups. And since these are bleeding, I'm going to use the sterilized bandages. Otherwise, I'd be ended up changing the adhesive bandages too often. And they're basically, once they're used up, uh, they're gone. The, these I can keep washing for a while. litter opener. I will take it. I'll actually attach that to my left belt. That horde's still there. This guy has no clothes on. Did he come out of a shower? You got a hand fork. Thank you. Somebody tried to kill you. You had a hand fork and a pencil in you. All right, I think that was all of them. Because I killed two there, two there, and two there. Oh, I didn't check these. Uh, dismantle that. Make sure this doesn't have an alarm. Alright, that's all of them. There's still a couple over there. This house has a broken window. Now, when I remove the glass from this house, it's going to get the attention of a lot of zombies. So let me thin out the zombies around it first. These two. Bandage hasn't gotten dirty yet. Good. There's another one in the trees. I see his feet. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, there's more than one in the trees. Spread them out some. You should be about dead. Still isn't dirty. Didn't I kill one around here somewhere? There he is. Oh, you're going to come out the window? I can't reach him through the window with this weapon. Where are you going? Fine. I'll deal with this one. Oh, there was one on this side of the building. Glad I came around. There's one in the trees. Two in the trees. They're going a different direction at least. It's not worth exhausting myself. When there is a window, I can just clear the broken glass on. I think there may be a zombie on the back of the house. Nope. Bunch of clothes on the floor. That must... Uh, coming out that window must have been the naked guy. You're on the door, I'm checking the other rooms. Okay, good. It's just me and you in here. Now it's just me. And he also had nothing on him. Remove bandage. Still bleeding, so we're going to disinfect it again. And use another sterilized bandage. And clean the other bandage. I needed two more bowls, and now I have matches. Yogurt, eat all of that. We're hungry. Oh. Miserable meta. You should be able to play with, like, yo-yos and toys and stuff to take care of sadness. That guy may spot me, so let's uh, just go ahead and deal with him. I really don't see any zombies moving around from that gunshot. Yeah, that one's still standing right there. This guy didn't move. So what did that gunshot actually do? Yeah, some of the meta noises... They can actually happen pretty far off, and you still hear them, so you won't notice the effect of the zombies being moved around. Yeah, I'm not even sure these guys moved around. I'd like to get to those vehicles. But let me check and make sure there aren't zombies this way. There are. There are lots of zombies. Okay. 
got one's attention. Nope, she wandered off. All right, I'm going to ignore those vehicles for now. Because it's about six, I need to head back. I didn't quite make it to uh, the um, place I was before, but that's because I decided to check a different direction. I'm in pain, and that's because of the scratch and laceration I got in the same location. This is my lower torso. They were going after my stomach. There's one in the fence there. Maybe more behind the chicken coop. Nope, I don't see any. I'll see if I can't get this one when it comes over the fence after me. I was far enough away they didn't get the lunge on me they were crawling toward me to lunge at my feet but they didn't start out knocking me back and I was able to get close enough to uh, take them out alright I think I can stop sneaking now I don't think there's any in the immediate vicinity once we get back to the road, we can start jogging a little, just to get back faster. We cleaned out a few zombies in the farm area. Ooh, there's more. Let's just cut across the field. Oop, there's more. And I think I got one's attention. I got more than one's attention. Let's just deal with these idiots. As you've seen from me getting scratched and all of that, missing a swing or missing a shove can be quite disastrous. So you gotta really work on the timing. I lost that guy, but I want to check this corpse. I may get his attention again. Nope. Okay. Now let's get some distance, and then we can stop sneaking and get back home. And I'm getting encumbered now mainly because of I'm getting hungry and that drops your strength. Alright, stop sneaking and just jog back home. Now you can't really interact with your inventory while you're jogging. So you yeah, do have yeah I only have about two-thirds of that full. These hold ten so I've got maybe six gallons. Which or six units. I wouldn't say they're gallons because a gallon should be eight pounds, honestly. Um, and this only holds like ten units, and it would be less than eight pounds fully loaded. So instead of being like a regular five-gallon can of can of gasoline, it unless they really just messed up their weights for the circuit sur, uh, purpose of playability over realism. Because quite honestly. Um, They've got the carrying capacity as like 12 units. Might be kilograms. Hmm. Yeah, they might be using kilograms. I'll have to check on that. But regardless, it would end up being like maybe a gallon can of fuel instead of a five gallon can of fuel
Sad, hungry, exerted, in pain, fairly heavy load. Let's take the time to remove this bandage. And is it still bleeding? Yes. All right, so we're going to disinfect again. And put our last sterilized bandage on it, because I think three was all I had. And once it stops bleeding, then I'll use the adhesive bandages. Almost back to our road. And I think because it's almost 9 o'clock, I'm actually going to jog even though I'm already exhausted. I think this area right here is going to be clear of zombies. We might have an occasional straggler like that one back there, but I don't think we'll have any groups over this way yet. And if I can keep thinning out the outskirts of the, uh, you know, in the farms here, then eventually, once I've finished raiding the farms, I can actually go to check. Uh, I think I missed a turn. Yeah, I think I, I missed a turn. No, 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 no. That's the shore, isn't it? Okay, yeah, I can just walk along the shore to get to my houses. Yeah, I should be able to see part of them that way when I get close. Unless I completely missed a turn and I've gone too far along the shore already. I see road. I think I'm going the right way. Yes. Walk two. And we're back. If we can get a, we've got paper clips, I believe, so we do have the means to go fishing for food. Look, I have a box of paper clips. Yeah, I have a couple of them. Once we get the fishing book, um, we're going to need that to be able to do it. All right, put those scrap electronics up. Let's go ahead and dismantle that and these radios. in the drawer. The light bulb up. Scrap electronics. Let's actually attach the screwdriver to our left belt and put this letter opener up. Um, radio receivers up.
clean the bandage. Remove the bandage. Still bleeding. And I guess now we will just use that bandage I cleaned. It's not sterile anymore, but... Um, wash the lead pipe. Wash yourself. Fill the empty orange soda bottle. And then fill your bottle. Alright, I had more stuff to put up, I believe. I have a hand fork. Put this over with the tools. Um, I have empty bowls and matches. Put the matches in here. Put the vitamins in our purse. The empty bowls. I still need to go get that other one that I put in the back of the car. I have a spare water bottle, which we're going to put in the fridge. And we're going to eat about a quarter of this. Fill your water bottle. Is that all we had? Looks like it. Alright, as soon as my panic dies down, I'll be able to sleep, and then we'll call this an episode. And I'm probably going to sleep most of the day away. Alrighty. So thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time.